Okay, for this one, uh, draw the scale first of all. And if you look at, he says a profit of 20% and a profit of 25%. First of all, profit percentage is profit by CP. It's a rate. That means the weight for the situation would be the cost price for each rate. Okay. Uh, so put the rates on the side which is 20% and 25% uh, put 20% and 25% there and we have to find the no his, his overall profit percentage is also given so 23% I know will come in the middle so put that there 23% so now I know there's 20 25 and 23 so the difference is 3 and 2 the ratio is 3 is to 2 flip that ratio it becomes 2 is to 3 okay so now uh, we know this we have the ratio the ratio is 2 is to 3 we have to think what is this the ratio of this is the ratio of weights and in this situation the weights uh, represent the cost price okay and he says a man purchased a cow and calf for rupees 1300 this 1300 is the total cost price so cp1 plus cp2 is 1300 or weight 1 plus weight 2 we know is 1300 and i know the ratio of weight 1 and weight 2 is uh, 2 is to 3 okay so 2x plus 3x is equal to 1300 5x is equal to 1300 you can work it out you get the cost price of the calf and you get the cost price of the cow also okay if we try the alternate approach it says his total profit was 23 percent that means final profit profit final over cost price total is 23 percent that is 23 by 100 i know final profit would be profit on the cow plus profit on the calf Profit on the cow was 20%. So it would be 20% of the cost price of the cow plus 25% of cost price of the calf. Right? We have this equation and we have another equation which is cost price of the cow plus cost price of the calf is 1300. Using this equation and this equation, you can figure out the values of CP1 and CP2. Should not and or we know this to be 1300. Just move this around and you will get the uh, values of cow, the cost of cow and the cost of calf. Okay, stop. Okay, uh, very simply if I look at the first part it says rupees 10 per liter which is the rate so put it at rate 1 and mix 5 liters of water in it this seems like a quantity right rupees per liter and 5 liters of water so there is milk and there is water and the rate for water would be 0 so put that on the other side and the 5 as the weight for the water right. Now this is where it gets complicated slightly by selling the mixture at uh, at a rate of rupees 10 he makes a profit of 25% that means this SP is equal to 5 by 4 CP right I know SP is 10 10 is equal to 5 by 4 CP so CP will be 8 so I know my overall cost price was 8 because his overall profit is 25% and the selling price is 10 and the cost price is 8 that means his overall cost price is 8 remember this cost price is also a rate 8 rupees per liter okay so now we have 10 rupees per liter on one side we have 0 on the other side and we know the resultant was 8 right so we know they, we can work out the difference is 2 and 8 or 1 is to 4 so the ratio would be 4 is to 1 right we are flipping that back and I know there was weight 2 was actually 5 so what is 1 represents 5 so 1x is equal to 5 so 4x will be equal to 20 and uh, that was the question right so we got uh, found the total amount of mixture that would be 20 plus 5 which would be 25 liters okay stop okay Alternately, uh, we still have to understand that this 10 is equal to 5 by 4 CP, uh, CP mean the overall cost price and the cost price mean is 8. We have to understand that and that's the translation part required. Okay. Now, without <coughs> looking at the scale, the dishonest milkman purchased milk at rupees 10 per litre, he would have got some quantity of that milk, right? So, let's call it W1 only and uh, the question was, 
we have some data and we have to figure out something right so like the quantity was q1 and uh, the quantity 2 was 5 liters we have 5 liters of this so his expense on this quantity 1 would have been 10 q1 because we have 10 rupees per liter he has q1 liters this would have been his overall expense plus he got 5 liters of water but water is free so there would have been no expense for that right so this would have been his overall cost that he has paid but what is the cost per liter for him now he had q1 liters and now he has 5 liters of water extra so overall quantity becomes q plus 5 right so this is the final cost price for him this is how much he spent he spent nothing on water but his quantity went up so his price is going to go down this finally i know is equal to 8 which i got from here right so this part is one piece of information and using this again we can work out the quantity one it will come out as 20 we already know that and my answer will come out as 25 okay so we can do it without the scale also but in whatever method we use we have to understand what is written or what is written in the question and what is the meaning of it this is the story meaning of it right net net yeah stop So in this one, first of all, we have to understand after reading the language many times is what is happening is that one solution which has milk and water in the ratio 3 to 2 is volume is being increased okay, by how much we'll look at later by adding pure milk. So there are two things that are being mixed are this one solution which has milk and water in some ratio and pure milk is being added, right? So in this and we have the ratio of milk and water which means we have the rate, we have the milk by total rate. So put that rate on one side, it becomes 3 by 5. Then we talk about milk, there is no rate mentioned there but we know if we talk about milk as a solution and I say what is milk by total, milk is 10 litres, total is also 10, 10 litres, so milk by total would be 1 by 1 or 100%. So put 1 on the other side and what happens is uh, Okay, the other part would be interpreting that increased by 10%. What does that increased by 10% mean? Uh, so think for a minute, let's say you had 100 liters of the first solution and its volume had to be increased by 10% by adding milk. So how much milk would you need to add? On 100 liters, 10% would be 10 liters. So in your thinking, you would have 100 liters of the first solution and 10 liters of the second or the ratio would be 10 is to 1. So this information, this increase by 10% was very important for you to convert it into the ratio form that is needed for your scale which is 10 is to 1, okay. Uh, you, you can take your time and think about it. Increase by 10% which means 1 by 10 increase or the multiplying factor is 11 by 10. That means the, initially there were 10 liters, now there are 11 liters by adding 1 liter. So what is the ratio of mixing or what is the ratio of weights? It is 10 is to 1, okay. Uh, so that, that is very very important to figure out. Not 10 is to 11. Some people would be thinking that but that is not the case, okay. Now the question is uh, find the what is the ratio of milk and water in the resultant solution now I have everything I have the rates I have the weights do your uh, uh, apply the method flip the ratio around calculate everything all the calculations are happening on the screen take a look or pause or, or check it back with your own uh, own calculations and see whether it's working or not okay stop. Okay, uh, in this one it's uh, very important to uh, interpret the first part of the information which says when 20% of the solution, we do not know what was there in the solution, I mean presumably it will be milk and water later, but we do not know what is the ratio of that milk and water uh, configuration. But that is not important right now, 20% of it was removed and replaced with water. So we have to stop and think about what's going to happen here, okay. So take the solution in your head, think of it as 100 liters. So think that there is 100 liters of the solution. Now from that, 20% uh, is being removed, that means 20 is being eliminated. So from 100, 20, if you eliminate 20, you would be getting 80, right? So there is 80 left and now it is being replaced with the same amount but instead of the solution there is water. So you had from 100 you had removed 20 but you are also putting back 20. But now finally what is happening is 80 is being mixed with 20 or 80 liters of the solution is being mixed with 20 liters of the uh, 20 liters of water. The question could have been framed like that also but the information is hidden here. So it was important, it is important to convert these kind of information bits into the form that 
we want to use okay or, or basically understand what is going on so 20 percent was removed and replaced so in, in our scale the ratio of mixing would be 4 is to 1 okay uh, and if you want to think of the multiplying factors 20 percent means reduction of 1 by 5 or the multiplying factor is 4 by 5 that means uh, but so so the solution has reduced it has become 4 by 5 of the original and 1 by 5 is being added so you can also put 4 by 5 of total and 1 by 5 of total that is the <coughs> quantities or uh, ratio of mixing involved or the ratio of weights once you figure that out rest of the question should be fairly easy you have the ratio as 4 is to 1 on the scale you have the final rate which is given as 2 is to 3 which means uh, the milk by total would be 2 by 5 put it there and uh, we know water would have no milk in it so that would be 0 so the ratio was 4 is to 1 flip it it becomes 1 is to 4 4 corresponds to the difference between 0 and, and uh, 2 by 5 right so what would be the value of 1 you add it you get the value 0 okay so the again the trick here just like in the previous one where the volume was increased by 10 percent there the ratio would uh, was 10 is to 1 here it is removed and replaced by 20 percent the ratio is uh, uh, 4 is to 1 okay so i can take a few more examples and and what would the ratio be for example if the volume is increased by 20 percent if the question says the volume is increased by 20 percent that means in 100 liters 20 liters is being added or the ratio of weights 1 and weight 2 would be 5 is to 1 okay but if the question was 20 percent was removed and replaced that means from 100 first 20 was taken away that means 80 was left now in this 80 this 20 is being put back together so the ratio of weights would be 4 is to 1 okay uh, let's try it for one more percentage and we'll wrap this up let's say the volume was increased by 25 percent that would mean in 100 25 is being added that means the ratio would be 4 is to 1 increase right but if I say 25 percent was removed and replaced that means from 100 25 would be removed that means 75 would be left and then again 25 is being added so the ratio now of mixing would be 3 is to 1 okay the question could be backward also you 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 get the ratio let's say and then you have to interpret it back to percentages depending on the situation so I hope you at least think about it okay stop